Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Varane calls for more awareness on concussion risk in football. Manchester United defender Rafael Varane has spoken out about the lasting damage concussions have inflicted on his body. The centre-back has called for increased awareness among players about the dangers of heading the ball. The 30-year-old recently quit the French national team after 10 years of success. Varane revealed he played through concussions on two major occasions during France's 2014 World Cup quarter-final defeat against Germany and a Champions League match for Real Madrid against Manchester City in 2020. These experiences, coupled with the growing scientific evidence, have prompted his call for action. He said the following, my seven-year-old son plays football, and I advise him not to have the ball. For me, that's essential. Even if it doesn't cause any immediate trauma, we know that in the long term, repeated shocks can have harmful effects. Personally, I don't know if I will live to be 100, but I do know that I have damaged my body. The dangers of headers need to be taught on all amateur football pitches and to young people. Studies commissioned by the Football Association suggest a link between repetitive heading and a higher risk of cognitive decline later in life. In response, the FA has trialed a ban on deliberate heading in under 12 matches, while Scotland has implemented a similar restriction before and after games. The International Football Association Board recently approved additional permanent concussion substitutions, but these remain at the discretion of individual competition organizers. Varan emphasized the crucial role of medical staff in protecting players. He said, the player might want to play, but medical staff must have the final say. Continuing after a serious injury isn't strength. Real strength is resting and recovering. He acknowledged the difficulty top athletes face in accepting this, but prioritizing player health remains paramount. Man United have made inquiries for 18-year-old South American prospect. Manchester United are looking to improve their defensive options at the end of the season and they are keeping tabs on a number of players. A report from Daily Mail claims that Manchester United have made inquiries for the Boca Junior defender Aaron Anselmino. The 18-year-old is highly rated in South America and he has a bright future ahead of himself. A move to Manchester United could be an exciting opportunity for him. Manchester United need to bring in an proper replacement for Johnny Evans, who will be a free agent in the summer. The Argentine defender would be a quality long-term prospect. If Manchester United can agree on a reasonable fee with Boca Juniors, the transfer could prove to be a masterstroke in the long run. Anselmino is expected to develop into a top-class defender and Manchester United could nurture him into an established first-team star. The 18-year-old has the physical and technical attributes to do well in England and it remains to be seen where he ends up. Apart from Anselmino, Man United are looking at the Barcelona defender Mikhail Faye and the Everton defender Jared Branthwaite. All three players are extremely talented and they could prove to be superb future investment for any club. The Everton star is likely to cost a premium given his reputation in the Premier League. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United can get a deal done for Anselmino for a reasonable amount of money in the summer. If they manage to do so, the transfer could look like a master stroke in the long run. Manchester United are preparing summer offer for Napoli skipper Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has struggled to select a stable back four due to injuries with the fullback position proving to be particularly tricky. Man United will attempt to reinforce the right back position if Aaron Juan Bissaka leaves, with Italian publication El Matino linking the Red Devils with a move for Napoli skipper Giovanni Di Lorenzo. The 30-year-old former Serie A winner is dissatisfied with the direction in which Napoli are heading after a hugely successful last season. 
El Mattino report read the following. Giovanni Di Lorenzo is seriously thinking of leaving Napoli at the end of the season. The Premier League with Manchester United and Aston Villa have begun to probe the intentions of the Napoli captain and surprisingly found the door open, not a glimmer of hope but just a willingness to negotiate. Di Lorenzo, despite the fresh renewal, will want to listen to the proposals and evaluate them at the end of the season. The national team fullback had never reached this point. He was really sure he wanted to end his career here, but this season and the prospect don't seem to reassure him. The report mentions that Villa and United's offers are on the table and the fullback will decide after a meeting with Aurelio De Laurentiis. The 30-year-old is a versatile star capable of playing as a centre-back and even as a right-back midfielder but usually plays as the right-back. He had 40 appearances across all competitions this season, registering two goals and seven assists while helping his club keep nine clean sheets. As per FB Ref, his attacking stats are quite impressive, placing him in the top 2% for defenders for touches in the opposition penalty box and for progressive passes made. Considering his experience and winning mentality, the Italy international could prove to be an astute purchase who could help Dallo grow in stature even further. United not only need young blood moving forward, but also experienced heads with the know-how of keeping calm under pressure. Di Lorenzo has a market value of 18 million euros as per transfer market, which should not be a major problem for United, but there are more pressing concerns up front and in central defense, and only after reinforcing those positions will the club opt to sign more players. Manchester United in talks with Nice left-back Melvin Bard, Manchester United are reportedly keen to sign Melvin Bard, who currently plays for Inuyas Aunt Nice. The Evening Standard are reporting the Red Devils are already in contact with the 23-year-old. Bard has been impressive with his performances since arriving at the Allianz Riviera in 2021. He has started 25 out of the 27 League One matches for his side this campaign, contributing to assist. United have Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malasia as their main options at left-back, but both are currently unavailable due to injury issues. Shaw could miss the rest of the season due to a muscle injury. While Malasia hasn't played for United since undergoing a surgery on a knee injury last summer, Bard has a contract at Nice until 2026, but talks are expected over a new and improved deal in the coming months. The 23-year-old has mainly played as a left-back, but has occasionally been used as a left midfielder as well. His defensive numbers in the French league are excellent, averaging two tackles, 1.3 interceptions and 1.1 clearances per game. He has also been creating three big chances on average, while his passing accuracy is 85%. Bart could be a good squad player for United if they decide to sign him in the summer, but it remains to be seen whether he would be willing to join a club where he is unlikely to start regularly. Man United observed Benfica wonder kid versus Sporting willing to pay 100 million euros a plus to sign him. Manchester United were keeping tabs on Benfica wonder kid Joao Neves during the second leg of the Taca de Portugal against the Sporting last night. The 19-year-old is one of the best young midfielders in Europe at the moment and United are set to be determined to land his signature this summer. Record revealed that the club had scouts in attendance to monitor the teenager during the 2-2 draw against the Sporting at the Estadio da Luz. Nothing else is specified, but the publication claimed that United are ready to spend more than 100 million euros to bring the talented wonder kid to Old Trafford. The Red Devils currently have Casimiro as the main defensive midfielder, but the Brazilian is no longer in his prime and has been injury prone this term. He is likely to be offloaded during the summer, and in our view, the club can make a statement by purchasing Navas from the Portuguese champions. The 19-year-old has been brilliant at the heart of the midfield for Benfica, 
He has completed 90% of his passes in the Primera Liga this season. The youngster has also won a stunning 6.2 doubles and 2.1 tackles per game alongside 6.7 ball recoveries. He has completed 72% of his long balls. Navas who has been described as an excellent player by Bruno Fernandes, has matured beyond his years and would be a perfect midfield partner for Kobe Maino. United are prepared to spend over 100 million euros and seem willing to break their transfer record, 105 million euros on Paul Pogba, but Benfica could hold out for much more. With Neves' a huge potential, the Primera Liga holders could be reluctant to sell him for anything less than his current release clause of 120 million euros in his contract. Man United won 40 to 45 million euros rated star with a 22 goal contributions this season. Manchester United remain keen on signing Jeremy Frimpong from Bayer Leverkusen at the end of the season. A decision regarding his future is expected to be made at the end of the month and a number of top clubs are keen on the 23-year-old right-back. Journalist Florian Plattenberg claims that Bayern Munich will also compete with Manchester United for the talented defender. Frimpong has a release clause in his contract in the range of 40 to 45 million euros and Manchester United certainly have the final muscle to afford him. The Red Devils could use a quality right back like him and he could prove to be a major upgrade on Aaron Wan-Bissaka. The former Crystal Palace defender has been criticized quite often for his inability to contribute to the attacking phase of play. Man United need a fullback who is well-rounded and will contribute at both ends of of the pitch. Frimpong would be the ideal acquisition for them. The 23-year-old is exceptional going forward and he could add a new dimension to the Man United attack. He has 11 goals and 11 assists this season. The opportunity to compete in the Premier League will be an exciting one for the player as well and he would get to test himself against the best attackers in the world. Frimpong is quite young and he is likely to improve with coaching and experience. He could easily justify the 40-45 million euros asking a price in the coming seasons. The defender could prove to be a major bargain at that price. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United can beat clubs like Bayern Munich to his signature. Man United could sign a Premier League striker as experienced forward option. According to journalist Ben Jacobs, Manchester United could keep an eye on a brand for the striker Ivan Toni if they want to sign an experienced striker. The Red Devils are looking to add offensive options to their squad in order to address their goal-scoring woes. The Premier League club have suffered this season due to their overall reliance on a new signing Rasmus Hoyland. The young Danish striker started the season slowly but picked up pace at the end of last year and his impressive form has given Man United hope of a bright future. However, they cannot completely rely on the youngster who has still not developed into the finished article. The Red Devils need an experienced player up top who can share the burden of scoring goals with Hoyland while also helping him develop into a top striker. Jacobs believes that considering Hoyland's strong form before his injury, Man United might not necessarily pursue an older striker this summer. Tony and Victor Osiman, however, have been identified by the journalist as possible experienced targets. Jacobs told Give Me Sport the following. Because Rasmus Hoyland is in good form now and is settled, Manchester United may not even need an older player with more experience because they may feel like Hoyland is shouldering the burden of goal scoring. If that continues between now and the end of the season, they might go a little bit younger and that's where Ivan Ferguson and Benjamin Sesko come into play. If they go down the more experienced line, we can also potentially keep an eye out for Ivan Tony. Victor Osiman is also a historical target for Man United. They tried for him when he was still at Lille.
After making an impression in the top flight, Tony has been predicted to make a big money move away from the Dutch Community Stadium. Since getting promoted in 2021, the striker has scored 39 goals in the Premier League. The 28-year-old has been widely linked to both Arsenal and Chelsea, although Mikel Arteta's search for other options is said to have cooled the Gunners interest. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.